Hey Cancer, what's up? Welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for um, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. But it is a reading for the ones who have broken up, are in separation. And if you want to know if you guys are going to have a reconciliation or not. Alright, so let's see if how and what this person thinks about reconciliation. Whether they want to reconcile back with you etc okay <clears throat> so let's see if you guys are going to get back together if you guys are reuniting or not for this week all right spirit guys angels universe this is going to be for cancer sun moon rising and venus tell us and give us clear concise messages will cancer reunite will cancer have a reconciliation this week with the person they're dealing with in love all right <clears throat> one last shot please whoa Oh, the moon showed its face. So there could be this unknown energy around, okay? There's a lack of information. There's a lot that you don't know is going on behind the scenes. Could be secrets, could be hidden agendas. Or this is just you not knowing what and where things are heading. But all you can do is rely on your intuition. Let's see what happened in the past. What is the current situation? What's going on? What is this person thinking? What's on their mind? How do they view you? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> what is in their deepest emotions? Okay, what does this person think about reconciling? What's going on behind the scenes? What is your advice? And what is the likely outcome? Will you guys reconcile? Ten of Swords. Damn. Bottom of the deck, King of Wands. <coughs> okay. Let's see. <coughs> Give me a minute to look at the cards, please. So overall energy, we do have with the King of Wands here someone wanting to take action, okay? This is a very masculine energy. Definitely looks like someone. This is someone who gets up and gets what they want, right? So there's a lot of passion here. And someone's in. Uh, someone has a lot of confidence out here is what I'm getting, okay? A lot of attraction. Sexual chemistry. In the past year with the Seven of Pentacles, looks like you were waiting for something to grow, okay? Waiting for the fruition of the kind of effort and investment that you put into a relationship here. <clears throat> right now, with the strength here, looks like there is some kind of holding back, okay? You're withdrawing or holding up a connection or holding back your feelings, okay? You're doing everything that you can to stay away from this person here. What's on this person's mind is the Nine of Cups here. So you could be dealing with someone who's a little smug, okay? But definitely someone with the nine of cups here who could be overindulging, over um, overdoing things. Okay, but definitely someone who's probably even drinking a lot. But that's someone who's very focused on their happiness also. <coughs> How they see you with the two of cups in reverse here? So yeah, they definitely see you as someone who's making a heart overhead decision. There's been a fallout, a breakup between you guys here, but you're definitely not seeing eye to eye with this person out here. More like you're making a more logical decision, okay? Uh, with the Knight of Swords here, this person feels the need to rush towards you, okay? So they want to communicate with you in their feelings with the Knight of Swords here. But here in this card, the Knight of Swords is more like running away from a situation. But I need to clarify, all right? The clarifications can change the message. With the Three of Swords here, when it comes to reconciliation, this person's hurting, okay? They're hurting bad. So if you think that this breakup has hurt only you, I don't think so. This is someone who's going through a lot of pain, like uh, it's breaking your heart okay and that's a, like a lot of emotional distress what's going on behind the scenes is the death in reverse this person is not going to let you go <clears throat> it's very clear all right they don't want to let you go and they don't want things to end with you for sure your advice is the king of pentacles it looks like you need to focus on your stability your growth okay you need to invest in yourself but focus on your finances is also what i'd say oh we'll see with the Ten of Swords, it looks like there's an ending, okay? Something's coming to an ending here with the Ten of Swords. Honestly, I don't feel this is a relationship that's ending here. <clears throat> I feel more like this is an ending to any kind of depression, any kind of overthinking, overanalyzing, okay? But someone's definitely going to feel backstabbed and betrayed here. Let's see. Apply for the King of Wands. What is this King of Wands? Who is this King of Wands? Tell me more about this person, please. Why is the King of Wands here? <clears throat> K 
king of wands with the king of wands and the six of cups dude this person is coming towards you okay a lot of passion out here okay this person is zoned in on you they know what they want and what they want is a reconciliation so yeah for the king of wands yeah there is a reconciliation happening here <clears throat> four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck this person is holding on so tight to you they are they're not gonna let you go they're not letting you go Yeah, they're missing you. They feel they, they they feel this very strong soulmate connection to you for sure. Okay, and um, I mean be, the King of Wands coming here twice. That's like a lot of passionate energy, right? The King of Wands is someone who is very productive. Okay, there's a lot of attraction. This person not only walks the walk, but they talk to talk. Okay, they follow through their game. Like I said, very masculine energy. Okay, they get up and they go do it. Yeah, so they're coming after you. Okay, because they're very passionate about you and they have a lot of desire for you. They're very confident when it comes to you and they see you. <clears throat> they see you and they're zoned in. They only want you. So yeah. Tell me about the seven of pentacles. Tell me about the seven of pentacles, please. <clears throat> so with the world at the bottom of the deck here i feel you could have ended a cycle with this person okay so you stop putting in the effort is what i'm getting you stop putting in the effort into a situation where there was a new beginning all right you did take a risk and leap of faith here but with the fool here i feel you stopped investing into a connection because you probably thought that there was nothing coming into fruition okay there was a situation that was not moving forward and you literally gave up yeah, because you stopped at a certain moment, okay? And you were like you're waiting and watching if the other person was putting in the same kind of contribution that you were. And I feel in the past year, you probably walked away from a situation, okay? With the fool here, you took a risk, you took a leap of faith. And with the nine of pentacles here, you chose to be single, all right? But with the world here again, like I said, you closed, you chose to close out a cycle. So there was an ending in the past year. What's the strength? What's the strength? What's the strength? Yeah. Whoa. <clears throat> I feel you're standing up for yourself here with the strength of the current situation. With the Queen of Wands, the Four of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. Look how defensive you are right now. You're holding back from this person. Your guards are high up. Okay, you feel the need to protect and guard yourself. You've set healthy boundaries. You could have blocked this person for sure. Okay, with the four of swords here, you're not doing anything about it. You're just giving this person the silent treatment, but you feel the need to withdraw yourself. Okay, and with the queen of wands here, you're taking action, but you're wanting. You have a strong pull towards this person. Okay, because now we have a two pair situation with the king and queen of wands. This is a very meant to be kind of connection. Okay, but I feel with the queen of wands here. Uh, um, Again, like I said, there's a lot of attraction here, but I'm feeling that you're taking action, but you're taking action towards things that you are passionate about, okay? You are the desired one. You are the eye candy out here for this person, okay? That's why that, that strong pull towards you. But you're choosing to keep quiet with the four of swords. You're choosing to hold back from this person here. And your guards are high up. Like I said, you're very defensive. The five of swords, you could have walked away from the situation, walked away from this person because there were a lot of mind games, because someone refused to give up. Okay. Give up as in this is someone who refused to lose. Okay, This is someone who always wants to win and they could have had an issue of, you know, they would always sabotage things between you guys only, you know, sabotage things that they even wanted. Only because they had that winning attitude. I always need to win. I always need to have the upper hand. And now you're like, you know what? I don't give a shit to you. Okay. You both are upright, but they're pursuing you, but you're pursuing something else or you're pursuing what makes you happy. Okay. And you're putting in all your effort and passion into protecting yourself and keeping this person away from you. What's the nine of cups? Why is this on this person's mind? Yep. Reconciliation, reconciliation, reconciliation. Wow. The strength again, 10 of wands. <sighs> strength, temperance, three of cups. This person's going to take some time, okay? 
with their entrance here. They're taking their own sweet, own sweet time. They're letting it go, letting it flow. They've surrendered it to the universe. They know if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Because look, you guys are on the same page when it comes to the passion and attraction. You both have your individual lives. You, none of you is a burden or overbearing on the other person, okay? No one's clingy, needy out here. You're both doing your own shit. That's why you're so attractive to the king of wands here, okay? Because of the king and queen of wands, your true pair, like I said. This person with the nine of cups here, their focus is happiness and their happiness is you. And this person with the strength here, they're going to do all that it takes and it's going to take all their strength and that big, um, brave, courageous move, that bold move they're going to make towards you, okay? But along with that, they're trying to tame their emotions, okay? They're not letting any kind of ego come in between because with the temperance here, like I said, right? They're leaving things to the universe, okay? Definitely. Uh, this is um, someone who is uh, very cool, calm, composed. They're letting it flow, okay? They want that give and take, but they feel you both are on the same wavelength, okay? But yes, they have a lot of patience out here, okay? So for them, it's like if it's meant to be, meant to be. But with the three of cups here, the reconciliation is on their mind, okay? It is. And with the... With the, with the um, they definitely want see you as their happily ever after, okay? They are. But they do want a reconciliation, but they're going to wait for divine timing. They're in no rush. They can literally, they're trying to hold back from uh, you, okay? With the strength here, I feel they're holding their emotions back. Because they know that if they unleash their emotions, things could go haywire. That's why they're trying to tame the situation is what I'm hearing. A lot of attraction. This person is very attracted to you. Why is the two of cups in reverse here? Why is the two of cups in reverse? Whoa. Why is the two of cups in reverse? Why is the two of cups in reverse here? Okay. <clears throat> The six of wands in reverse. You are, uh, they view you as someone who's neglecting them, someone who doesn't appreciate them. You don't, you don't even acknowledge their existence, okay? Because probably with the two of cups in reverse and the two of pentacles in reverse, you could have been very back and forth, back and forth with this person here, very indecisive. But it looks like you've definitely made up your mind of uh, letting this person be and letting this connection be where it is, which is being on your own ways. Because with the sun here, they view you as someone, you know, who's very focused on their happiness, okay? You have this pursuit of happiness and you're just going to do what makes you happy. Well, they're on the same page with you almost, okay? With the nine of cups and the sun here, both are happiness cards, right? But with the six of wands in reverse, they definitely see you as someone who doesn't value this person here or you're neglecting them, you're not appreciating them and you're not giving them the attention that they want, okay? So they, they feel very avoided by you with the sun here they do view you as someone who they who is like their uh, happiness and they view you as someone who they have who can, they can see a lot of potential in okay what's the knight of swords here what's the knight of swords why is this in the deepest emotions four of cups and the devil here this person, uh, in their feelings, uh, so they miss you, okay, with the five of pentacles out here. This person feels very left out by you. They do. Uh, obviously, because with the six of wands in reverse here, this person sees you as someone who's not appreciating them. You've blocked them out, you know, you don't pay heed to them. With the devil here, this person is very, very obsessed with you. Give me one more card for the devil, for the knight of swords. Give me one more card for the knight of swords, please. Page of Swords. See, that's what, I, yeah, that's what I was thinking. This person, Knight of Swords, Page of Swords, okay? So this person is thinking about communicating with you, okay? And they're feeling they definitely want to rush towards you. But I'm getting here is that with the devil here, there's something that's stopping them from communicating with you because with the Four of Cups here, this person has fear of rejection is what I'm getting. They're not sure if you're going to take them back. That's why you're, they, they're taking easy, right? With the temperance here, they're letting it flow. They're not putting a lot of stress. They're not losing their patience, you know? This could be someone you're dealing with who's very spiritual also. But yeah, with the Four of Cups, this person feels rejected, okay? But they want to rush in and talk to you like right now. But they choose to stay away and watch you from a distance, spying, stalking, uh, watching, looking at you from a distance, okay? But with the devil here, they still feel that there is this obsession that they have with you, okay? They can't control themselves. That's why they feel the need to address this issue or come towards you right now. Okay, because they feel that probably if they don't, this could be a missed opportunity between you both, but they fear rejection for now. Okay, 
with the queen of pentacles this person definitely uh feels as if you got your shit together okay you're very very focused on your work career goals but you're just, it's like you're literally focused on everything but them tell me about the three of swords why is this yeah. why is the three of swords here? why is the three of swords here why is the three of swords here okay Ace of Cup, bottom of the deck. This person has a lot of love for you, all right? They want a new beginning in love with you, but they're just hurting so bad. Could be a third party situation, although I don't see it here. But with the Ace of Wands in reverse here, they have a lot of passion for you, right? But they're lacking the action when it comes to committing to you. Because we have the Ten of Pentacles, okay? They feel things are, there is a potential of things growing, okay? Of things reaching to that point of commitment here. But they're so, but they're hurting so much with whatever happened in the past or the way you walked away or the way things ended, right? That they're lacking that action. It's a situation that goes nowhere, okay? So it's like literally a situation that keeps repeating itself. You know, like uh, you could be having a lot of false starts with this person. But because they're not taking action, right? That's why the situation is getting nowhere because they're still weeping with three of swords here. There's the situation which is which has affected them a lot. But again, they do have a lot of love for you, okay? With Ace of Cups here. They want to open up to you. They want to be vulnerable towards you. But they need to heal. They haven't healed from whatever happened in the past year. That's why they're lacking the action. With the Ten of Pentacles, they do see as something uh, solid can be built between you guys. But when it comes to putting in that action and the work, that's when they don't. And they don't even want to let you go. You know, with the death here in reverse. Let's see. Tell me why is death in reverse here? Why is the death in reverse here? Why is the death in reverse here? Why is the death in reverse here? Page of Cups. See, they have so much love for you. But you're dealing with someone who's emotionally a little immature, okay? They are. They're very confident about this relationship, okay? Probably you're also very confident about the relationship. But when it comes to putting in the work, I think that's when they're popping out. They don't want to let you go. They're not going to let things end. Okay. That's something that you need to know. Because with the Eight of Pentacles here, this is someone who's wanting to put in the work. Okay. They want to put in the effort. They want to put in the work. They're wanting to put in all the effort that they can. Okay. But with the star in reverse here, they're losing that hope and faith if things will work out. That's why probably uh, they're in that energy of the Ace of Wands in reverse here. When it comes to reconciliation, yes, they want it. You make them happy, etc. I mean, uh, they definitely see you as someone very defensive and holding back, okay? And they see you as someone who's dropped them. Because you are very focused on yourself. Or with the sun here, they see you as someone who's illuminated, okay? There's some facts that have come out of the open. There's been light shed on things that were not open. Or, the, or there's been light shed on things that were in the dark, okay? And now they feel the need to come in towards you and confront you with their feelings. But they're just afraid because Page of Swords is a very shy energy. You know, this is someone who chooses to stay away and watch from a distance here. I think it's the communication part that sucks from this person here. Because in their emotions, there's so much cups out here. There's so many cups out here. So the emotions are high out here, but the communication part sucks out here. You know, see the Three of Swords and um, the, the, the Four of Swords also, which we had. Yeah, the Four of Swords, Page of Swords, Knight of Swords. There's so much of mental uh, issues, you know, not issues in the way. There's so much of, uh, how can I say this? There's so much of conflict going on, you know, in this person's head, you know. They feel the need to hold back and do some more research before they can. But what's going on behind the scenes that you don't know is that, yes, there is a lack of hope and faith that this person is losing faith. But with the eight of pentacles and the death and reverse here, they refuse to let this go. They refuse to accept this ending. Okay. And they're not going to let you go. Okay. This is far from uh, things ending. They will put in the work. They want to put in the work. They won't show it to you, but they do. Why is the king of pentacles here as advice? Your advice is, where's the King of Pentacles here as advice? Six of Swords in reverse. Give me one more time. And the Emperor here. Yeah, take control of the situation, okay? 
<clears throat> don't run away from the situation the six of swords in reverse is someone who you know who knows that they need to do something okay but don't repeat negative patterns with this person okay don't go around with this person in the same circle again and again with the king of pentacles make a very logical a very practical decision okay and with the emperor here take control of the situation don't go around in circles with this person okay because also uh, this could be a negative pattern also okay where you know that there is something that you need to do but you're making things even more difficult than they seem Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Why is this the outcome here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Wow, you have the Ten of Swords twice. What the fuck in the tower here? Oh my god. I think things are going to end drastically between you guys with the Ten of Swords twice here. It's quite a completion, okay, with the Page of Wands and the Queen of Swords. You know what I'm getting? This person is going to come in with that lame-ass communication of the Page of Wands here, okay? And you are going to cut this person's head off, okay? Because it's going to be a sudden ending, okay, with the tower here. I feel you're completely going to end things with this person. This person is definitely going to come back towards you for sure, okay? But with the Ten of Swords here twice... I feel there's definitely an ending here, okay, and it's things are going to get quite nasty, things are going to end quite badly out here, because you're going to cut this person off here, because you're in no mood to entertain any kind of bullshit here, and this person's coming in, waltzing in your life, you know, they feel they can just come into your life whenever they want, they're anyways in two minds, you know what the problem here is, this person has so much of emotions, but their approach towards you is so light-hearted, you know, they don't, they're not taking things seriously, that's what the problem is. That's why in the seven of pentacles here, you go around with this person, you put in the effort again, you entertain this person because things, you know, they come back towards you in a way where you feel, okay, now we'll probably move on, you know, and get into the next stages. Again, this person does the same shit. Okay. So what I'm getting here is you have a strong soulmate connection. Okay. They want a reconciliation. They're missing you a lot. With the king of wands here twice, a lot of passion between you both, but probably you're someone who doesn't want to stop at the passion, you know? You're stopping on the two of cups. You probably want the ten of cups and you also want the ten of pentacles. They don't even want to let you go. And they don't even want to, And their approach towards you is so kiddish with the page of wands here. The page of wands is someone who will just try a new way of approach, okay? But when it comes to putting in the work, you def definitely wanted the king of wands here. If they would come in as the king, then probably that wouldn't have been your issue here, okay? So there is... A lot of inspiration and passion here but for you with the queen of souls you're like i am done and dusted with this bullshit energy you know and that's why with the tower you're letting the tower fall this time you're not entertaining this person anymore the queen of swords she knows what she wants she doesn't fuck around you know and that's exactly what's happening here you're, you're gonna cut this person off that's for sure is what i'm getting you are because with that Knight of Swords, Page of Swords, Page of Wands, it's all immature. You're showing up as the Queen of Wands here, okay? With that strength here, look at that with the Seven of Wands here. You're so ready, you know, with your boundaries up. Because probably you know how this person is. You know that they keep doing this, okay? And you feel the need to put in those healthy boundaries, okay? You feel the need to cut this person off if they come in. Because you're quite decisive about what you want. And for you, with the sun here, you want growth. You want expansion. You want things to move forward. And if this is something that this person is not ready to give it to you, you're saying screw it. Whether they let you go or not, for you, it's over and done with. And that's what I'm getting with the tower here. I think you're going to let this person go. And it's going to be a huge shock with this person, okay? Huge shock. They're not going to be expecting this. They're not. So that's what I'm getting for you, Cancer. You don't want no games anymore, okay? You don't want to keep it lighthearted because there's enough of lightheartedness. When you reach the seven of pentacles here and you have the two of cups, that's a lot of love here and that's a lot of investment. And now if the person still wants to come in screwing around or if this person still wants to come in and keep it light, you know, and all fun and games... I don't think you're up for that. I don't think so. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. Wow. That was... <coughs> that's what I have for you. And anyways, your advice is with the Emperor and King of Pentacles here. Use your logic. Okay? Use your logic. Don't try and avoid this situation. Okay? If this person comes around, your advice is to face what you have to. Don't run away from the situation anymore. Okay? Handle it once and for all. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope this reading resonates with you. Do leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.